Hi, good morning. I'm Ava. I have systemic lupus and I'm 28 years old. And today I'm talking to you from my home in Charlotte, North Carolina, where I live with my husband, my son, and our two pet birds. In this video, I'm going to talk briefly about being diagnosed with lupus and what my life has been like since then, as well as one thing that I wish someone had told me when I was first diagnosed that I think would have helped. In January of 2017, so about a year and a half ago, lupus, and this was after about two years of unexplained joint pain and just kind of general feelings of unwellness. It took five doctors before I received a lupus diagnosis. The first four doctors considered my problems to be primarily a result of my anxiety and my weight gain, um, when in fact the opposite was true. I was in so much pain that I became more anxious and I gained weight. Um, in those experiences with those doctors, you know, they really made me feel frustrated and isolated. Um, it made it hard to keep searching for answers about what was wrong. But I'm really glad I did because the fifth doctor, I walked into his office, he took one look at my face and he said, you have a very classic malar rash, which is a red, almost sunburn-like rash that kind of lays across your face like a butterfly. Um, and this is really distinct for lupus. So just by looking at my face, he expected that I had lupus. So we went over my symptoms, such as joint pain and chest inflammation, things that are common. And we went over my blood work and everything kind of lined up to say, okay, this, this confirms that it's lupus. And, you know, lupus, it can be really hard to diagnose because it can mimic a lot of other diseases. If you have 100 people in a room that have lupus, each one can have a different set of symptoms and experiences because lupus can attack almost any part of your body um, and really just tends to present uniquely in each person and not everyone will have a moral rash that kind of goes you know ding 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 <laughs> this is lupus so I think I'm really fortunate that I was able to receive a lupus diagnosis after just a couple of years um, even though that seems like such a long time that's actually quicker than it is for most people unfortunately so after my diagnosis, I started taking Proquinil, which is an anti-malarial drug that usually helps with um, lupus symptoms. It's kind of considered the first line of treatment for lupus. We gave it six months to kind of let it get to its full effect in the body. That's how long it takes. Um, and I had some reduction in my pain and my fatigue, but really for the majority of those six months, I was spending a lot of time in bed because I was just physically and mentally, you know, had these disabling symptoms. So Proquinil wasn't enough, and so we added Imarin to my treatment plan, which is a strong immunosuppressant. And I was on that for a couple months, but then I became pregnant, and I kind of threw my whole treatment plan into chaos. <laughs> I had to find a good doctor, I would go to high-risk OB, and figure out what I could take, and ultimately I did end up staying on Imarin throughout my pregnancy. But it wasn't until this past May, when my son was born, that I was able to go up to a higher dosage that I really needed. And once I was on that, I started to feel almost normal for the first time in years. Um, my lupus symptoms really diminished. My cognitive issues diminished. My fatigue was down. The rashes that I experienced were occurring less often. And so I started to function not at a great level, but at a better level than I had in years. And so, you know, over the past year and a half, I've learned a lot about living with lupus. And so one thing that I wish someone had told me that I think would have really made my time of my diagnosis and the time since then easier to accept is what the chronic part of a chronic illness really means. You know, from a Google search, they tell you that chronic can mean anything from three years to a whole lifetime, or excuse me, three months to a whole lifetime. But I didn't understand that chronic can actually mean around the clock, unrelenting illness, especially since it took so long for my treatment plan to be effective. Um, and feel normal. It's, it was just kind of unexpected having to spend so much time in an extremely painful place coping with physically and mentally disabling symptoms. Um, so chronic means being sick constantly. That's something that you and the people around you really need to prepare for. And it's unfortunately it's not something that a lot of people can understand. Even my husband, who is with me, constantly and is very empathetic and helpful he does not understand what it's like to be in my body be experiencing things 
um, these feelings of sickness so frequently. And we had a really long adjustment period after my diagnosis while he accepted what our life looked like with me being sick. And we eventually figured it out, but I would say we were definitely unprepared for the never ending aspect of it. So right at the beginning of being diagnosed with a chronic illness like lupus, um, it's really important to seek support from your family, your friends, um, maybe even go to therapy to learn how to cope with it, learning you know, techniques or strategies. Um, and, and, you know, really learning how to dig deep and just have the strength that you need to deal with something like this every day. Even now, my lupus is not active, so it's not damaging um, like my internal organs in my body, but it's also not in remission, so I'm still symptomatic. I still feel sick in some form every day. You know, I may only have an hour or two where I can be like a normal person, um, especially if I try to do too much and not too much my feet, so I have to be really careful. So what I'm saying is that, you know, if anyone out there has been recently diagnosed or if you're going to a flare-up, I would really just encourage you to spend some time contemplating how you can best prepare yourself for coping with the really chronic nature of a chronic illness. And as I've shared throughout my story, um, getting a diagnosis can be really difficult and it can take a long time to figure out your treatment plan. And I really do believe it will be easier if you have some concept of this chronic nature and when you're in the thick of it. And um, also just really want to encourage you that it can't always be bad days all the time. I know it seems like that when you're really in the pit of pain and you know going through some of your darkest and most difficult times, but eventually there will be some good days. There has to be a light at the end of the tunnel, right? Um, so thanks so much to this, for listening to my um, talk and watching this broadcast. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Um, I also hope to be talking to you soon with more information about lupus. In the meantime, you can always go to my profile, find my website, links to my social media. Uh, so thanks again and have a great day.